What is going on guys? Trigger here bringing you a game of domination on launch and this is another er, the second game we played against this clan here. Same map, uh, basically the same score and same, you know, I went 51 and 9 in this game I think. Um, but I figured I'd just post the, these videos back to back showing you, um, you know, get a little game against clan and how I play against them now in this gameplay these guys resorted so, to some pretty cheap tactics because I think they knew that they weren't gonna beat us so uh, mr. 5.8 KD or whatever the hell he's got uh, pretty much noob tubes the entire game and they they were camping out in some corners but Nonetheless, they get pooed on again, so, and I do believe they ended up quitting halfway through this game or something like that, but, and, and you know, that's, that's something that happens a lot when we play people, is, you know, people always end up quitting halfway through the game, or, and it's really annoying because, it, you know, it, it's... Kind of hard to explain. There's Mr. NoobTuber guy gets pooed on. Um, but, you know, I kind of understand why people would quit because, you know, when you got a full team of six, uh, it can be pretty overwhelming, especially when you're playing a group of randoms, you know, that are don't really play with each other. And it's a huge huge advantage for the the full team of six but you know th this is a just uh the three of us and we are having these problems where people would be quitting halfway through so i don't know if we're supposed to run around with just our pistols just so that they stay in games but come on i mean i you're only gonna you're not gonna get good better by playing um kids that play play with uh, their controller upside down you know the only way you're gonna get better is by playing people that are better than you and um, so that's why I really you know you might have a really bad game but the more you play better people the better off you're gonna be um, so I really encourage you if you guys are getting stop just stay in the game kinda you know and even after the game watch how those players play <laughs> And kind of uh, adopt, you know, what they're doing good because obviously it, it's working. Um, you know, and that's another thing that I'm gonna bring up here when I start getting back into these subscriber gameplays is watch how you know watch your own gameplays and kind of see what what you are doing wrong and learn from your own mistakes. And you know, I've done this a lot. I watch myself play all the time and be like well okay I'm you know I'm dying a lot by doing this so this is what I can change so uh, that's just a quick little tip trying to give you guys here but um, I kinda wanted to touch a little bit more on sensitivity since I ran out of time in the last video now what I was saying is <clears throat> force sensitivity in my opinion is the highest that you'll ever need and the reason being is Black Ops, with the guns, how they are, um, and how the recoil is, is uh, once you start getting up into those high, you know, five, six, sevens, when you're trying to re control that recoil, you're not going to be able to do it as efficient as if you have a lower recoil. Because what happens, like with the FAMAS that I'm using in this game, is the recoil is going to be up and to the right and on a seven sensitivity or you know up along those lines is when it starts you know getting out of control and you try to like kind of flinch it back down you know, to try to center it again what happens is the sensitivity is is so high that you know you flinch it and it goes too far and you're not able to um, control it as effectively as you would on a four so that's why i say you know the lower sensitivity the better um you know if you play more defensive you don't really die a lot from people coming behind you then i'd really suggest a three or even a two um you know depending on how how much 
you um, struggle with controlling the recoil. And you know, that's one thing that I really dislike about Black Ops is now the recoil is random. Every clip, every time you re reload, the recoil is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes it'll just go insane off the first couple shots and sometimes you'll have clips where you have zero recoil at all. And this is where I think that Treyarch really failed because what happens is with all the issues with connection and you know all this when it comes to having that random recoil it really dampers on how your your um you know one on one gunfights are going to go because what happens if you know two people using a FAMAS go up against each other one of them you know at mid range one of them might have you know get the recoil roll where they're not going to have any at all and to where the person that you know might be a better player like this happens to me all the time where I'll get the recoil where it's just insane and you know when that happens you have to burst fire but when you're going against a guy that has zero recoil in his role he's just gonna hold down the trigger and you know holding down the trigger versus burst fire the one holding down the trigger is gonna win every time so I think they kinda of failed big time on doing that you know if you're gonna have recoil either have the recoil the same every time um, you know because I think it's really good that there is recoil because with no recoil it just gets you know way too easy so keep the recoil, but get rid of the random rolls, how it's going to be different every time, you know. Give that gun, you know, it's set recoil so that, um, you know, it's predictable. You can control it, uh, you know, with with skill, I guess. Because it does take some practice to um, kind of perfect, but I guess just to touch that up here. Um... Drop if you're struggling with gunfights, drop down your sensitivity. Um, I suggest four for a, a very aggressive rusher, and three if you kind of play defensively. Um, and you know, it's just my personal opinion, but never go higher than four. Um, give it a try. Let me know, let me know what uh, if it helps you guys. Um, and kind of leave in the comments too, what sensitivity do you guys play on now and what's your, you know, your game tactic or your play style. Um, but yeah, that kind of wraps that up. Now, um, in the next couple of commentaries, I want to touch a little bit more on Modern Warfare 3 and what I want to see in that. Now, my first video that I did, uh, <laughs> got some pretty mixed feedback it actually is is pretty hated so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it again and I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on um, kind of what I want to see and kind of explain the reasons why and I think by doing that you guys will understand at the point that I'm trying to come across here but anyways guys this video is wrapping up uh, again Pretty much same score in the end, um, you know, 202, 105, and I end up going 51 and 9, 8 captures, 1 defense. So until next time, guys, peace out.